Okay, so to, to uh, wire up the slots and signals, signals and slots, um, you, just, you have to know what's going on with the event manager or the events that are generated when buttons are clicked um, or any other event that occurs in a QT application. So for this, um, what we've got here is this little button called compare, where I'm going to compare these two um, pizzas. And what I need to do is make sure that I'm in the edit signals and slots option. And I found that you just select this little bo uh, box right here in the toolbar. And you'll notice now that when I hover over them, um, they highlight, but I can't, um, I can't edit them uh, like I did before. If I find myself in this state where I can't edit, then just kind of hover over some of these. You'll see which one that you want, which is edit widgets. And it looks like if you press F3, that will also work. So how do I wire these up? Well, this is, um, this is what I'm, I'm intending. I want, when I click this, there's going to be, I, I want the um, clicked signal that's going to be generated when I click that button and I want it to be sent to the main window. So it's kind of intuitive, really. You just click on the button, and you'll notice you get this little arrow that comes up with the, it looks like almost like an electrical ground, where I'm gonna ground it then to the main window. I drop it, and up comes this configure connection box. The signal that I want to uh, emit from the button is here. And over in the main window, I want to edit and add the signal or the uh, slot that I just created over in main window.h. So I click, make sure that I click the uh, the new uh, slot that I wanted to respond that I want to respond to the signal, and I click OK, and now you notice that when it even shows you when I click the compare button, it calls the compare pizzas uh, method inside the main window, which is what this is this is representing. Okay, so how do I know that it works? This is uh, just one quick way to test this. Make sure you take this out when you're done. But I just put regular old um, IO stream. And in this method that I just implemented, compare pizzas, Let's just make sure that we're calling this. And my gut feeling is that this might not be the best uh, thing to do because if you start littering your files with IO streams and all of that, um, it, you just have to get in the habit. You know that if you put it in there, make sure you take it out because that it's, it's probably better not to mix the two back and forth uh, QT has its own console library that uh, I'm not going to get into now, but they've got their own way of writing out to a console. They call it a console, and that's basically what C out would represent. So let's run this now that I've put that in there. Compile it. If I typed everything incorrectly, it should run OK. This is the window that comes up, and when I click Compare, you'll notice you get a little console that comes up and indeed that's the one that I'm calling. So that's how you wire up a um, signal to a slot using QT Creator.